Sharing your posts on social media and having nobody click on them can be so painful, but it also means that nobody is seeing your website, nobody is uh, sending you emails, and ultimately it means that you are not selling your products or services. So in today's video, I'm going to give you pointers that will help you or help um, you know your page get more views and more clicks and getting people interested in what you are selling or what you are offering. So if that is what you're looking for, then please do feel free to stay on and to subscribe to the channel because I am here for the small businesses. I'm rooting for you. I want you to win. You winning is helping me win, is helping the economy win, is helping a generation win. So let's get into today's video. Hi there, my name is Tumi and I'm a social media marketing and digital marketing strategist. I work with small to medium businesses to help them get online and do well while they're online. So if you're about that, then stay tuned and let's start with the video. So this video applies to when you post or you share content on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and a bit when you send your emails. So the first thing that you need to look at Think about why somebody would click on your content. What are they going through at the time that they are um, clicking on the content or at the time that they would be clicking on the content? What's happening in their lives? When they're searching on Google, what kind of things do they type in when they're looking for a solution like yours? So you need to put people in a certain place that um, you know understand what is happening for them to be looking for a solution like yours and then you can address that in the post so think about what people are going through think about why they would want uh, a solution like yours and address that with your post when they search for solutions on google what phrases what exact words do they use when they type in the search bar for example, if I have uh, pimples here and pimple on the face, something on the ear, and I ask what it is, I'm going to describe what I'm going through. If I'm looking for a gift, I'm going to say gift for women in their 30s, or gift for him, or gift for her, or gift for a five-year-old girl. So you need to know when people are looking for solutions like yours, what would they have searched? They might not necessarily use the exact words that you think that they use. So you need to know what other problems might lead them to a solution like yours. For example, for me, it would be marketing. Sometimes people are not looking for a strategist. They are looking for marketing. They don't even know that they're looking for digital marketing. They might think that they're looking for social media marketing. So those two things are different. Social media does fall under digital marketing, but it is not digital marketing. So I know that people that are looking for me might not necessarily search for that while they're looking in the social media search bar or in the Google search bar. So I have to know what they're looking for. Once you know that, use those exact same words when you post content, when you share content. I read a book, uh, a copywriting book, and that guy said, every time you write something on social media anyway, ask yourself, so what? I read your article, so what? Okay, you know, like, don't just share things for the sake of sharing things. How's that helping the other person? And after they see your content, what must they do? How must they feel? Point number two is that you need to include keywords. So what we spoke about in the first point, you need to include keywords in your content, in your captions, in your posts. You can take it a bit further, but by actually renaming the picture or renaming the video that you're going to share on the social media platforms. That helps when people are searching for a Monday quote or you know tips or something like that. So you can rename it to match the content that you're going to share. And also you can use alt text. Alt text helps social media um, place your content in front of people that are going to be looking for solutions like yours. So use those tools. They are there for a reason. They help people find your content and click on the content because it's going to the relevant person. So the keywords are very important in content sharing. 
in order to find the right keywords in addition to what i already said that you can um you know search on google first of all on google you can even type in before you even finish you i'm sure you have already seen this when you type in on google before you even finish your sentence it's already suggesting what other people are searching for so use that to your advantage if you say digital marketing mm, it might show the history of what you have searched for but it's also showing what other people are searching for or if you say marketing and then it's going to show maybe marketing near me marketing services marketing so it's going to show you ideas on what people are looking for so use that to your advantage another way that you can find keywords that actually work um, is to go into social media groups go into linkedin groups facebook groups any other group that you can find on social media and read through what other people are saying you need to learn to listen as a marketer as a small business person you need to learn to listen to hear what is going on in your industry in the market how people are looking for your services so you need to look at what people are saying in the group somebody might be saying help me i have this skin rash that's not going away or whatever i've tried this and i've tried that and then what you do is that with your content you go and you say if you are a dermatologist for example you go and you say that if you're looking if you have this breakout that's been going on for months this is the solution that you have you might have tried this you might have tried that but it hasn't worked so this is what you can try now immediately a lot of people that resonate with the other person because we share experiences it doesn't matter what world uh, you live in or what continent or what province or what you know what state and all of that you live in we share experiences so if somebody's going through something here a lot more other people are going through the same thing so you want to address that if you go if you join a group and you are a a beauty group or you know just a group for moms even and you know that you are a lash artist or a nail artist and you talk about beauty you can go into groups for moms and you know see what they're saying about maintaining your beauty standard while you're a full-time uh, employee and you still have your husband at home and all of that then in your content you can directly uh, address what their issue is or what their question is those people are going to click on your post when you, you know, speak about what they care about in a language and words that they put out on the internet. Because sometimes when you know something, you end up using big words that people don't understand. A lot of people don't understand social media marketing. They're like, oh, what is that? You post on Instagram and they're business owners. So you have to know where your people are unless you target big companies they already know what digital marketing is and you know where it fits into their entire company but if i use big words on small business owners that are just starting especially in south africa they're just starting um you know with marketing online they don't know a lot of the words like seo all of that and then i see a lot of people trying to tell people about that they don't know what it is and how it fits into the entire picture but if i say i'm going to help you find words that will help your content get found they understand that so you need to know your people what words are they using to search for solutions like yours let's move on to the next point point number four is that when you share content if you want it to be clickable remember to tag people that you share um people that inspired that content for example if you read a book and you want to give pointers on the book that you read and how it helped you you want to take the author and the author might share on their on their page you know um and you want to make sure that even in the caption maybe you write their content because that's going to associate your content with his people's content and that opens up even more um audience for you and your content so i have seen a few times where people share um where people share stuff that i have posted and stuff that other people have posted from their company and they don't tag like sometimes I just bump into it in the stories because i'm looking at other people's stories and i'm like oh 
I would have shared if you shared it in your stories and you told me. Now, Instagram, it kind of shows you sometimes, unless somebody screenshots that somebody, it sends you an inbox that somebody shared your post. But sometimes, you know, you can miss that. But if you tag me, it's going to appear. It's going to flag me that somebody tagged me in a post and I'm going to be aware of it and I'm going to share it on my page because people like to share things on their page that other people are sharing. So that's how you're going to get more people to come to your page and possibly be you know potential clients or potential customers that are gonna buy from you so let's move on to the last point for today don't forget to subscribe and don't miss um, you know any other video to help you and your business and your wealth and all of that so let's move on to the last point the last point is that you need to remember your punctuation your spelling and remember the spaces I have seen people use, we are all using Canva now. <laughs> if you're not using Canva, you, you are special. <laughs> um, so I have seen people um, using too many words on their posts and also not breaking up the post in the captions. When you share, people are lazy to read. We are all lazy to read these days. I read because I read books, but we not many. If you see the amount of people that actually read books in, in the whole world, it's very little. So people don't want to read, but people will like take this information, take that information, this and here and there. So if you break up this information, the first sentence might be very relevant. And then you need to put things in numbers. Or you can just dash, 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 just to make it point, you know, like, make write pointers. Pointers are very easy to one, two, three, four, five, to read through than a long paragraph explaining all of the people are not going to read that. So if you want people to click and to read more, you must make it very easy for them to read and to digest what you just spoke about. So it must be little information. Don't put too much information in one place. Now, I forgot another point <laughs> and lucky for you i'm gonna put it in now so the other point is that you you need to have catchy headlines so you have seen that on instagram on linkedin and also on facebook there's see more or read more for people to click that it means that the first line has captured them and they want to go to the next one so you need to have a catchy title but also have a sentence that leads them to want to see more and to read more so they they are clicking on your post and you direct them to email you or you direct them to um you know to visit your website or whatever call to action you have call to action just means that you're telling people when you move from here after you read here after you digest this information this is what you need to do either you want to read the blog post that is more informational or you want to visit my channel where I explain things even more or you want to send me an email so I can tell you about the offers that I have and all all of that so remember to tell people after they do this this is what they need to do in the next step a lot of people just assume that somebody's gonna click on Weiwei no they're not they want you to tell them that is the world that we live in, the world of the internet. <laughs> so thank you for joining me, guys. I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you. I appreciate all 480 of you. I really, really appreciate you. And I want to help you as much as I can. Thank you and see you in the next video. Subscribe. Bye, everyone.